me Aisha once again and uh, once again you guys are finally back watching my channel Fiercely Chocolate as usual and in today's video I'm going to be bringing you guys a throwback YouTube video well I consider it a throwback YouTube video and that is a what's in my bag video I have actually never done a what's in my bag video but I have wanted to do one for so very long because I am definitely a bag lady okay I love me a good sturdy bag and although I don't trade out my bags very often I do like to go ahead and invest in a great bag at a time and just wear it until it is completely abused and used so I definitely want to go ahead and show you guys the bag that I am carrying right now as well as the obscene amount of products that I carry in my bag so no judgment okay because I know y'all are nosy I know I always want to see what's in other people's bag are you carrying something that I need to be carrying in my bag am I carrying something that you need to be carrying girl and let's just face it we are all just nosy and want to see what each other is carrying so if you guys are interested in what bag I'm carrying and all the products that I carry in it then go ahead and stay tuned for the rest of this video Alright guys, so before we actually get into the contents of my bag, I actually want to show you guys the purse that I have been rocking for the last few weeks and it is this gorgeous and beautiful leather bag that you guys see right before your eyes. Now if you guys are viewers of YouTube or if you've even seen this bag on Instagram, then you guys know that this is a Teddy Blake bag. Now I will go ahead and say this video is not sponsored in any fashion or form, but a few weeks ago Teddy Blake did reach out to me to go ahead and choose a bag for free to review and let you guys know the real tea on this company and this bag and that is what I am here to do. Now I know a lot of people do not like when YouTubers either get things for free or sponsor videos which is me included but y'all should already know that I do not play those games on this channel. I am not only a YouTuber but I am also a consumer and I do not want to waste your coins, my coins or anybody's time with talking about a product that I am not absolutely in love with and I am happy and pleased to tell you guys that there will be no reading of a product for filth in today's video because I am absolutely obsessed with this bag. It is absolutely beautiful and it really kind of speaks for itself as you guys can see. So I did want to give you guys a few details on this bag because it actually does come with a little bit of a learning curve if you will. But if you guys do not really care about the bag and you just want to see the what's in my bag portion, I will go ahead and leave a timestamp down in my description box so that you guys can just skip forward to that portion. But if you want to know about this bag and are in the market to buy a nice quality bag like Teddy Blake, then go ahead and stay with me and learn a few details before we get into the obscene amount of products that I actually carry in this bag. So here is the beautiful Katie Gold in 16 inches. If you guys check out the Teddy Blake website, they do offer a wide range of color styles as well as sizes of bags. And all of their bags are made out of genuine, authentic leather. So I'm so sorry, PETA and vegans. Don't come for me, but it is made out of leather. Also, not shown here, the bag did come with a dust cover, a lock and key, as well as a detachable strap. My bag in particular came with all gold hardware and also features these foot pegs on the bottom so that you don't damage the bottom of your purse if you put it on any type of flat surface. So this bag actually opens quite uniquely unlike any other bag that I own which is why I'm showing you guys how to open it but it definitely ensures that your bag remains secure if you're traveling or anything like that with it in a closed position but y'all know I am lazy and I need to get to my stuff in a hurry so I usually keep it in the open position which you see right here with the flap open and it still looks really really good. If you look on the inside of the bag, it's basically just a gigantic hole that you can put your entire life in and it's completely lined with suede which is super nice and it does feature one flat pocket on one side and it has a zipper pocket on the other side and that's the only pockets that this bag features. So I'm actually pretty OCD sometimes, so I wanted to show you guys this little bonus clip of the purse caddy that I actually keep in this Teddy Blake bag. I actually bought this for my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM bag and it fits in the Teddy Blake perfectly. So if you have a purse caddy like this, it'll keep the shape of the bag, keep your bag nice and organized as well as keeps it from getting damaged from any type of makeup, pins or anything like that. So if you have the one for the Louis Vuitton, it actually fits in the Teddy Blake as well. I also get asked about this ball a lot. It's just from the Michael Kors store. And I'm showing you guys how I actually pack my bag to keep it nice and organized and the actual capacity of everything you can put in this Teddy Blake bag. 
right guys now it is finally time to go ahead and get into the obscene amount of products that I like to carry in this Teddy Blake bag so that you guys can not only see how much product this bag can carry but also all of my business is in this bag so let's go ahead and get started I will say that because I carry such big bags and so many products that I do like to go ahead and keep everything in little individual packages like this and how cute are these bags I'm trying to tell you I really am not too bougie about the little individual bags that I carry in my purse and I just picked these up from forever 21 up by the cash register where they love to snatch the rest of my little coins it gets me every single time and they're super cheap affordable and they are so adorable so because this is the first little package that I went ahead and pulled out of my bag let's go ahead and jump on into my business and see what I carry in this one so this one is basically like my hygiene, keep it fresh, keep it girly um, throughout the day type of bag. And the first thing that I have in here is this little travel size of deodorant. And girl, side note, let me just say I watch a lot of these videos and a lot of girls always say that they leave the house and forget to put on deodorant. And I'm just like... <laughs> Girl, where are you from, okay? There is never a moment in my life where I have forgot to put on deodorant before I left the house. I don't know why people think that's cute or what that's about, girl, but I always have on deodorant. But sometimes I do like to go ahead and reapply throughout the day, especially when it's getting hot or if I'm at the gym or something like that. So I like to carry a little travel size of deodorant. The next thing is I'm always ashy. Like, I am always dry skinned ashy especially these knuckles and I cannot stand when I get that little white patch in between my thumb Girl, you already know what I'm talking about so lotion is an absolute must for me it's just not a question and the one that I like to carry in my purse right here is the one from Burt's Bees and it's their shea butter hand repair cream and it's the one with the cocoa butter and sesame oil I will say that I really don't like the way this one smells I think it's the sesame oil in here but this is definitely a really really good hand cream so if you're in the market and have super dry knuckles like me girl like you've been busting bricks all day with them hands this is definitely a good one although I don't really like the smell of it next up we have a little travel size of a mouthwash need I see more say more about this one dental hygiene is so serious for me and I just do not know why I am always disrespected on a daily basis with people who don't feel the same way and like to come up all in my face with that hot breath of theirs so I don't want to contribute to that problem so I like to make sure that we square that away and we carry products that can take care of that situation so I like to go ahead and take a little travel size of Listerine scope mouthwash whatever is available for me to use throughout the day also to help with that um, halitosis if you will I also always have a pack of gum on deck most of the time Orbitz is my favorite but I just so happen to have a pack of extra because sometimes I like the flavored ones when I'm on a diet makes me feel like I'm eating snacks but I'm not getting the calories girl I'm just saying it's a little diet trick if you will but I do have the extra and this is the spearmint flavor right here Next up I have this little Tide pen to go. It's a little mini version and I will say this has definitely had my back on many occasions. I am so glad that I carry this in my bag because I am much like a two year old in that I will spill everything on me. I will get makeup everywhere, just stains which is why y'all never see me wear white most of the time and this has had my back on many occasions. I'm telling you almost every time I'm drinking coffee it will drip on my shirt and Tide to go has my back so I am so glad that that I carry this in my bag. Next up, I like to keep some wet ones. I am OCD and a germaphobe because I am always catching colds because people are nasty and spread their germs. And I am that crazy lady who will whip out a wet one and wipe down the little buggy carts and things like that. Cause people just, they're, they're disgusting, their children are. Also, I like to go ahead and carry my feminine hygiene. I mean, do we even really need to talk about, you know, we know what it is. Um, I'm a woman no need to say more with that I keep liners and tampons in here and I also like to keep the eaves Saint um, the Saint Eve's wipes in here as well because girl we already know it gets a little hot sometimes and sometimes we're out in public using bathrooms and such and do I even need to talk about being a little fresh little daisy out in these streets okay if you are having any problems with feeling uncomfortable 
okay if you will throughout the day then go ahead and get you some St. Eve's um, wipes or the Summer Eve's wipes they have them in a different scents they have them in the big containers as well as the individual packets so I like to put a whole lot of these in there so we can just remain the sweet little daisy that we are okay I'm not even gonna expound on that you guys feel me on that <laughs> Lastly, I usually like to keep a little sample fragrance of whatever perfume I am wearing that day. What is my hair doing? I like to go ahead and keep a little um, sample fragrance of whatever I'm wearing. No, you ain't gonna see Scent Bird in this video because like I said, this is not a sponsored video and they ain't sponsoring me, but I do like to go ahead and put in travel, atomizers, or just a little sample fragrance of whatever I like. This one is the Ariana Grande and y'all know I absolutely love this foundation. This is still one, uh, foundation. Perfume. This is still one of my favorite perfumes to wear. And that is basically all that is in my first little bag. Next up, we have just got to go ahead and address this donkey, this elephant in the room. This is the heaviest bag that I carry. It is my makeup bag. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, I'm going to carry like a little lip gloss or something out to touch up throughout the day. And girl, no, I carry enough to do an entire face. I will say that I am the type of girl that I either go out with no makeup on and I just come to the conclusion that I don't care for that day and or my makeup is already done and I really do not touch up throughout the day but just in case I am out in these streets and I see future bae future baby daddy a future mistake I and I want to just get real beat real quick then um, I definitely have a whole face of products in this bag now inside of this bag I also keep this one which is basically where I keep all of my lip products and I already know that this is gonna be embarrassing and I can already feel the judgment judgment building in your eyes I can see it okay don't judge me I'm sure we all have our issues and things that we carry that are unnecessary but look at this this is everything that's in my lipstick bag and this is just embarrassing okay I don't nobody in their life ever needs to carry this many lip products with them in one day but but here I am here I am and I'm just going to quickly go through what's in my makeup bag. First off, we have this Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the color Red Rum. I will say these are the only, the initial three lip uh, sticks that he came out with are the only ones that I have because ever since he went through that whole racist tobacco, I have not bought any other products from Jeffree Star, but I will say I really, really do like the formulation of his liquid lipsticks, but we ain't buying no more of that. Next up, I have a whole grip of MAC lip gloss uh, glasses. They are some of my favorite, and the colors I have really quickly are the Luster Glass and Cinnamon. We have this pinky color, which is very similar to the one that I'm wearing today in a syrup. Um, we have this one from the <laughs> Simpson Collection, which is itchy, scratchy, and sexy. We have a prolonged wear lip glass in the color Next Fad. We have... <laughs> Via, Viva Glam Rihanna 2. This is embarrassing. Um, I have a problem. Uh, we also have the a lip gloss in Cultured. And lastly from MAC, we have Spite Lip Gloss, which is another favorite one of mine. I also carry the Too Faced Lip Injection because apparently my lips are not big enough. I also carry an NYX Butter Gloss, and I will say I absolutely love their butter glosses. They are velvety smooth on the lips. They look super good. They are super easy to use, and these are some of my favorite glosses. On deck, we always have some Aquaphor. This is my ride or die. Y'all already know the relationship that I have with me. Some Aquaphor, absolutely love it. And it's a shame that I carry this many lip products in my bag only to use Aquaphor at the end of the day. I, it's a problem and I'm not sorry. And lastly, I have this Tardiest Lip Paint in the color Cheerleader, and I absolutely love these um, liquid lipsticks. I have stopped using a lot of the other ones and only been using these lately because these are definitely my favorite. Y'all already know that those are all the lip products that I have in my bag. Now to quickly go through all of this full face of makeup that I have, let's just get to it, girl. In the event that I, for some reason, want to be in my car and do a whole eye look, I went ahead and <laughs> packed this little um, eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild, and it's the Naked Truth. And I basically did the nude one because um, basically you can create a whole look really, really quick out of this one eyeshadow palette. So I always keep this in my bag. 
Next up I have um, the uh, Pro Concealer and Correct Palette from MAC in the color Dark in case I need to conceal something. I also have another concealer which is the Cream Concealer from Cover Effects. I really, really like this one. The product that probably gets used the most out of all of my makeup in this bag is this um, Studio Fix Powder Plus powder plus foundation and it's in the color NW45. I like to go ahead and touch up my makeup with this especially when it starts getting too dewy slash oily. I also have a little MAC uh, Fix Plus and I mean this goes without explanation. It's to freshen up my makeup in case I need to do anything. I'm on planes all the time like you guys know so sometimes I like to just go ahead and rehydrate the skin if you will okay when I'm on longer flights so I like to keep a little small one of those. Also another product that I really really like it's so unnecessary you can just use the rice paper sheets but I really really like this beauty blender um, blotting sponges as y'all can see it is well used it comes with a mirror in there which is always helpful and then it just comes with the two little slices of the beauty blender for you to go ahead and just blot all of that extra oil I actually really really like this product and use it quite a bit. I also have a little baby Laura Mercier translucent setting powder because these are what I usually get with my Sephora points and if you really want to be real cheap you can go ahead and just keep on getting these and refill your big one but I do like to go ahead and get these so that I can put them in my purse so that I'm not carrying a whole big old thing of translucent powder and I also like to use this to um, retouch my makeup if I'm getting too oily. Again another Aquaphor ride or die I probably have like 10 of these all over the place. We also have some Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel because sometimes my weave be trying to take my brows off throughout the day and so to set them in place if I didn't do so at home I like to go ahead and take a gel with me. I also keep my contacts in here and I got this cute little case from Hobby Lobby. It comes with a little mirror as you guys can see and a contact case. Y'all know I wear color contacts as well as I have astigmatism and need to wear contacts sometimes at night for driving. So I always have those on deck if I need them. Lastly, I have another um, pack of gum because like I said, halitosis is not allowed over here, okay? So I like to have plenty of gum with me. And then I also have um, girl, I was not even playing. I was not playing. I also have some eyeshadow primer and some mascara. Next we have the last little tiny bag that I have in here. And this one is super simple. Basically you cannot carry a whole bag of makeup without having the utensils to put them on with. So I do like to carry an extra, um, blending sponge in case I need that and I went ahead and picked up a whole little set of travel makeup brushes to do the entire face with. I think I got this off of either Amazon or um either Amazon or eBay and if I can find the seller in this product then I will go ahead and link those down below but obviously girl if I need to put on a whole face of makeup I'm gonna need some brushes to do it with so these are basically all of the primary brushes that you need to complete a, uh, a whole entire face with to include a spoolie for some brows and I also like to keep my lip pencils in here as well and the ones that I have in here right now are Plum from MAC this is current from MAC and I also have chestnut lip liner somewhere in the mix that just fell. Chestnut lip liner which y'all know is my favorite lip liner. Okay we're getting close to the end guys. I promise you guys I can see the bottom of this bag. So the next item I have is obviously my wallet. This is the wallet that I pretty much um, put in all of my different purses. I never really switch wallets because girl that is just too much work for me. It's a Michael Kors wallet um, because I had a black bag to match it a while ago and it it is a really really good wallet then I have a whole group of receipts let's see what I did this week guys let's see so I went to Hobby Lobby because I'm an old lady I went to Panera Bread and I got the Chipotle avocado melt which is delicious by the way and I also got a goddess Cobb salad and then I got a Mountain Dew and an apple this one is a receipt for my medical spa visit because I got Botox. Yes, girl, I get Botox, okay? We can talk about that later. <laughs> and then I picked up some money from the bank and I got my nails did, okay? And I am so disrespectful because I literally just smushed all of my receipts in my wallet like that and that is how it goes in my bag. 
Lastly, we have my keys. I don't really like to keep a whole lot on my keys. I drive a Mercedes Benz and then I have my house key and my um, mail key on here. I don't like to keep a whole lot on this key fob. All right guys, so that is everything. The obscene amount of products that I have fit into my Teddy Blake bag and that I carry with me on a daily basis. I can't even make any excuses and say that it was because I was traveling last week because my bag is always this full and this heavy. But those are all the products that I carry with me on a daily basis. I feel lots of judgment and whispers and sarcastic comments down in the comment section, but it is what it is. That is just how I live my life. Sorry, not sorry, okay? Okay. So if you guys had any further questions about the Teddy Blake bags or anything that you saw in this video and want me to expound upon it, definitely go ahead and let me know. Leave that down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe if you like to see more shenanigans like this and don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you guys know when I upload videos as well as go ahead and follow me on all my social media because it's always lit over there as well. And other than that guys, hopefully this video was helpful or at least hilarious and I will see you guys in the next video love you mean it bye girl